प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एजुकेशन टॉक्स विद अब्बास एंड प्रेस बेल आइकन फॉर लेटेस्ट एंड मोर एजुकेशनल वीडियोस Dear friends assalamu alaikum i hope you are fine you are watching my youtube channel education talks with abbas so you know also about myself my name is mohammad abbas ahmed i am studying chemical engineering at comsel university lahore campus so i decided to deliver and discuss about the chemical engineering subject so in this video we discuss about the stoichiometry it is the basic concept of introduction to chemical engineering i also started this series of uh, lecture uh, which is introduction to chemical engineering series name you also watch my videos uh, lecture number 1 introduction to chemical engineering lecture 2 unit process and unit operation and this third video about the stoichiometry please please you watch my previous two videos and do subscribe my youtube channel and share with friends for the deeply concept behind the chemical engineering so what is the stoichiometry calculations the relationship between the relative quantities of substances taking part in a reaction or forming a compound typically a ratio of whole integer basically in the chemical reactions two or more reactants uh, to react in the chemical reactor reaction chemical reactor to form product a uh, useful products so this is the reactant uh, also called the number of moles mean to say according to the haber's process one mole of n2 react with the three moles of hydrogen to form ammonia two moles of ammonia this is the stoichiometric ratio so stoichiometric coefficient is the number or written in the front of atoms ion and molecules in a chemical reaction to balance the number of each element on both the reactant and product side of the reaction so basics of stoichiometry stoichiometric coefficient mean to say nitrogen is reacted to three uh, uh, hydrogen chain into the two ammonia this is called the stoichiometric coefficient which use in this chemical reaction according to the haber's process so we discuss in this lecture about the stoichiometric relation how can we find the uh, stoichiometric amount so uh, we can divide into three uh, parts mole mole relation mass mass relation and other stoichiometric relation what is the mole mole relation if we have one mole of a substance you can find the other mole of the yeah other a uh, second mole of the other substance so mass mass relationship if you have mass of one substance you can find the mass of other substance by the mass mass relationship and other stoichiometric relation like a volume mass relationship mass volume mass mole and and it is it so basics of stoichiometry uh, in this uh, slide the hydrogen is react to nitrogen to form the ammonia this is the connected with the coefficient connected with the number of moles mean to say three moles of hydrogen is react with the one mole of nitrogen chain into the so stoichiometric relations tells us about the also three hydrogen molecules react with the one uh, nitrogen molecules to producing the two moles of two molecules of ammonia so basically on the basis of your need you can increase the molecules of hydrogen and increase the molecules of nitrogen but basically the stoichiometric amount is always constant mean to say uh, one moles of nitrogen react with the three moles of hydrogen mean to say uh, hydrogen is thrice of nitrogen so in this case so 300 nitrogen mean to say hydrogen is thrice of nitrogen mean to say 900 molecules but ratio is always constant in case of molecules 6 multiplied 10 power 12 molecules react with the 
टू मल्टीप्लाइट एन की पावर ट्वेल्व नाइट्रोजन मालिक्यूल्स बेसिकली द रेशियो इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट इन दिस केस सो इस इज इट इज आल्सो कॉल द सेकोमेट्री सो बेसिक ऑफ सेकोमेट्री टेल्स इज अबाउट द सेकोमेट्री अमाउंट इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट सो इन दिस केस दिस कॉफिशेंट मीन टू से सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइट एन की Tank raised power twenty three is also called Avogadro's number. Avogadro's numbers tells us about the number of particles in the specific atoms molecules. So uh, this three moles uh, and one mole of in, uh, react with the two moles of ammonia. Coefficient are molar ratios. Is also called coefficient are also called molar ratios. So stoichiometry relations tells us about we begin with the mole mole calculations, mass mass calculations, and other stoichiometry calculations. So basic of stoichiometry uh, in this question, we uh, tells us about the mole mole calculation. In this case, um, we read the statement: How many moles of uh, ammonia? How many moles of nitrogen are needed to react with the 7.5 mole H2? Basically, you have this amount of hydrogen 7.5 mole, but you can find easily moles of nitrogen by mole mole calculations. You always remember this is the have concept. This is the wanted concept. Have is also in the upper case of the. Uh, Bar and the denominator. So one nitrogen went, and the three hydrogen have. This is called the stoichiometry calculations. In this in this question, seven point five moles of hydrogen is given. You can easily uh, interrelate with these stoichiometry ratios when one nitrogen is react with the three hydrogen, then convert it into two moles of ammonia. So this is the stoichiometry relation. Tell us about the amount of the given nitrogen. So this is the uh, multiply and seven point five divided by three is equal to two point five moles. Seven point five moles is react with the uh, is react with the two point five moles of nitrogen. So basically, the ratios of stoichiometry is always constant. please you always remind the concept of given and wanted so in this case mole of hydrogen is wanted and 0.8 moles and h3 is a given so given amount is always in the uh, in the upper round three hydrogens uh, reacted to one nitrogen and produced two nitrogen mean mean to say when three hydrogen react to one moles of nitrogen give us The two moles of ammonia. So this is called the stoichiometry relation multiplied by in the given amount of 0.8 mole NH3 and gives the amount of 1.2 moles of hydrogen by the mole mole relationship. So moles what in the moles B the mole mole calculations. So moles A is given and B moles you are wanted easily by the this. mole mole calculation concept the wanted amount is the upward case and have amount is the lower case multiply by the given amount you can easily find this concept this problem and this solution so this slide also tells us about this concept you please uh, pause this video and write on your copy the uh, next concept the mass mass stoichiometry basically in this slide uh, you can find the mass of one substance when you have the mass of one other substance in this concept mass of a uh, you convert it into mass of b by this concept by this steps first step is uh, the you can uh, convert it into moles mass convert it into moles by the molar mass one mo uh, one mole a mean to say one mole of nitrogen f molar mass is 28 and then convert it into moles and moles converted into the moles b and 
also you convert it into molar mass of D is and finally product is mass B. This is called mass mass stoichiometry relationship. In this example, how many grams of NH3 is produced if you react with the 42 grams NH2? In this example, you have the given 42 grams N2 and the wanted amount of NH3. You can easily find uh, this wanted amount by the mass converting to moles, moles converting to the wanted amount and wanted amount change into the mass of B. This is the mass mass relationship. You can easily find by this concept. Please full watch this video. You can easily find the uh, mass of, of uh, ammonia by this mass mass relation. First of all, you convert it into mass into moles. One mole according to these stoichiometric equations, one mole of N2 nitrogen react with three moles of hydro hydrogen. Mean to say, uh, mean to say, uh, one mole of nitrogen have 28 gram nit nitrogen. Mean to say, it is a molar mass. 28 gram is a molar mass. So one mole of nitrogen according to the balanced chemical equation is the two moles of NH3. You can easily convert it into the one mole of NH3 have 17 gram NH3. So it's a molar mass. You can convert it into grams. Answer is 51 gram NH3. What is the concept behind that? You can easily convert it into mass into the moles and moles into the molar mass and then convert it into mass. So it's a tricky thing behind the mass mass relationship. And next example, uh, you can easily understand what mass of O2 is needed to react with 5.95 gram NH3. In this e stoichiometric equation, you can find easily mass of O2 oxygen by mass mass relationship in this example. So first of all, you convert it into mole. One mole of NH3 is have uh, 17 gram uh, ammonia and seven uh, for seven seven oxygen according to the stoichiometric equations. Seven oxygen react with the four moles of uh, ammonia. So it's a stoichiometric relation used in this problem. So you can easily uh, change into the molar mass. One mole of O2 have 32 gram O2 then convert it into the uh, mass of O2 by the mass mass relationship. So uh, this is the example and concept behind the stoichiometric relation. So can also the other relationship is that one mole particle. So you have uh, to find the Avogadro's number and uh, um, molecules and particles. You can par uh, one particles of A uh, you have and find the and wanted the particle of B. By simple uh, we can uh, change the particle A into the moles. Moles then uh, you can easily change into the uh, moles then uh, you can change into the, into the particle B moles by this relation. So uh, and other stoichiometric relations you have one more uh, volume of A you can easily find the volume of B by the this method. This method also represent in this case volume of A this is a relation uh, converted into the mole. Moles converted into coefficient and then converted into stoichiometric relation you can easily of particle B. This is the stoichiometric relations. This is also relation mass mass volume relation is called so called mass volume relation. And this is a uh, particle A change into the moles and moles change into the moles B in change into the volume and ask it moles about the given particle. This is the concept uh, you can have the one particles of the substance. You can easily find the other moles, particles and volume of the substance. So in this case, uh, moles is given and asked about the particles, moles A change into the moles B within the, uh, according to the stoichiometry equation, the balanced chemical equation change into the particles B.
and this is a particle A, you can easily convert it into the one mole of A has uh, 0.02 multiplied 10 to the power 23 particles. What mass? This is the question. The uh, water is produced from the um, reaction of 2.8 multiplied 10 to the power 23, 24 molecules of find you what what you have in this question uh, have 2.8 multiplied 10 to the power 24 at 6 you can find hydrogen mean to say this is called mass and the particle uh, first of all have find the amount in the uh, nominator and uh, you can have the amount denominator the uh, you can Converted by the one mole half six to multiply ten to the power twenty three and uh, stoichiometric relations tells us about that two C two H six have reacted to the seven moles of O two converted into the four C O two plus six H two O. You can easily find this one by one subject and step. So it's a very very uh, useful and magical number trick uh, in this lecture and, and it's, it, it, it is the concept of the heart of this lecture. So please you can um, easily understand by this video. Uh, the magic number technique is a quick shortcut method for solving a big stoichiometry problems you can easily find by this technique and by this magic they were also called a magic number technique for example how many grams of ammonia can be formed from 25 grams of nitrogen this is the 28 28 x n 2 plus 2 x 3 h 2 convert into 17 x 2 n h 3 so uh, in this question you have 25 grams of nitrogen and you also find the hydrogen and ammonia first of all uh, you know uh, the 28 is the uh, 28 is the molar mass 28 x mean to say x is equal to 25 so also you can find the uh, you have the 25 28 x mean to say x is the amount of the magic number Magic number multiplied by x0.893 is the value of the x and NH3 is equal to 17x multiplied 2 grams. 2 is the uh, molar mass of hydrogen and multiply with the 17. Basically, you have the amount of 3H, you have the amount of nitrogen and you find the NH3. NH3 by the 17 multiply X. 17 is the molar mass. 17 multiply X. What is the X? You can uh, find previously, previous step 1, 0 0.893. Multiply by the X. X multiply 17 multiply 2 is the answer is the 30.36 gram is the amount of uh, ammonia you have converted through nitrogen and hydrogen. Third step you can find hydrogen. Hydrogen uh, molar mass 2 multiply X and 3 is the stoichiometric relation. You can uh, for first step uh, you can find the uh, X X 0.893 multiply by 2 and 3. 5.36 you can also uh, you can also apply this trick in any question of this stoichiometry relations mass mass relationship mass mole relationship mass volume relationship moles mass relationship and any other relationship so you can remind these steps first of all multiply by x magic number the second step is multiply by molar mass for mmr only Number three, find x from given quantity. Number four, find unknown by using x. So thank you. Uh, you are watching my this video. I uh, ne next video uh, about uh, the concept of another important uh, topic of introduction to chemical engineering. So I am very thankful to you watching my video. Please do subscribe and uh, sharing this video with friend and explore this concept behind the chemical engineering assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh